I've changed the difficulty modifier to 200%. I don't know if that will make any difference, but the last fight was pitiful on the part of the AI. I was scared for no reason at all before that. There was an anomaly discovered on WD1142-1 uh, uh, hyphen, maybe. Uh, I, it's uh, strange that uh, there are so many uh, sort of uh, uh, horizontal lines that all have different names. Uh, I believe this one is called a hyphen. If if I want to be really technical about the, about this, I usually just call the, all of them dashes or something. But uh, anyway. <laughs> Uh, six four five uh, uh, hyphen a one hy hyphen moon six. The message uh, said it's uh, within the range of unusual stellar radiation that may improve the output of research facilities based on this system body. In the year 2097, the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs finally came into an agreement to se <coughs> send an international construction team to recover the alien installation on Wolf hyphen. 359-A2. They fi found 4,000 tons of stored Tritanium a Genetic Modification Center, 11-160-engine uh, power magnet uh, plasma drives, two uh, research facilities, knowledge on how to build ad advanced cargo handling systems, and a terraforming installation. I've also noticed that since I've now uh, got uh, such good fuel efficiencies, uh, again, uh, it's uh, <laughs> there are sort of two of these terms that may mean uh, a little bit uh, different things technically. <laughs> I uh, I can never remember. Uh, uh, what the, the actual scientific meaning is, but uh, fuel and propellant is actually a little are uh, actually a little bit different things. Uh, but since this game uses fuel um, as its uh, term, I'm also going to be using it. Well, since it's going to bother me otherwise, I uh, took took a look. Uh, uh, on uh, project rho uh, dot com about the difference uh, between fuel and propellant. So here's the uh, passage that says uh, what's the difference. In a rocket, there is a difference between fuel and reaction mass. Rockets use Newton's third law of action and reaction in order to move. Mass is violently, violently thrown away in the form of the rocket's exhaust and the reaction accelerates the rocket forward. This mass is of course the reaction mass. It is sometimes also called remass or propellant. The fuel is what is burned or whatever to generate the energy to expel the reaction mass. For example, in a classic atomic rocket, the fuel is the uranium-235 rods in the nuclear reaction reactor. The reaction mass is the hydrogen gas heated in the reactor and expelled from the exhaust nozzle. Uh, there are only a few confusing cases where the fuel and the reaction mass are the same thing. This is the case with the chemical rockets such as the Space Shuttle and the Saturn V, which is how the misconception started in the first place. Uh, automobiles, air airplanes and uh, boats are sizable vehicles with relatively small fuel tanks, not so rockets. An incredibly powerful rocket might approach having half its mass composed of reaction mass and the other half structure, hull plates, uh, crew mem members and everything else, but it is more likely uh, that 75% uh, of the mass will be reaction mass or worse. Most rockets are huge propellant tanks with a rocket engine stuck on the tail and a tiny crew habitat stuck on the top. Uh, well, may maybe that will clarify uh, things and uh, 
It seems to me that this game should maybe start using propellant uh, instead of fuel as its uh, term for uh, whatever the spaceships use in it, because, uh, well, uh, it, it's what's used to propel the uh, uh, rockets, so uh, it, it sort of would make more sense, uh, I at least I think, so... So, uh, well, whatever, I'm still going to use fuel since this game uses it, and for my own projects I will, of course, use propellant and stuff, but <laughs> this is just some sort of a pu public announcement thing that... <laughs> Don't use fuel, use propellant when talking about rockets. Well, uh, depending of, on if you use it, I mean, uh, in the correct uh, context, uh, contexts. Uh, uh, if you don't know which one to talk about, then uh, I think that propellant is the safer option anyway. Uh, since I've got uh, such good fuel efficiencies and also so much sorium uh, that I don't know uh, what to do with it, I've su started to use an engine power modifier of 0.5x on my commercial ships. Almost all of that minimum engine power modifier seems to be wasted research now. Maybe this decision will be something I will be re regretting later on though. I've not done an overview of the world situation in a, quite a while now, so let's do that. I don't think it's that, I don't think that the population growth has been that realistic. I started with a billion and two hundred and ten million people, and now I'm all at almost three billion. If that growth is applied on Earth, even. So I'll, shipped off some uh, s small amounts of people to our planets, but uh, in, in, anyway, if that uh, growth was uh, applied to a whole planet, we would have well over 17 billion people, which is of course just ridiculous and not sustainable at all. Anyway, India and China are pretty much neck and neck in GDP, but after the peak in 2070, uh, they have fallen in their relative power. Most of Latin America, which has improved it in its economic status considerably, has joined forces with the USA, forming the American Union. The Eurasian Economic Union has been growing also, and is quite a formidable economy also. The EU and Canada individually are not big players right now, but if united, they could become a major world power. Anyway, I've decided to place the American Union on Earth in uh, Game Master mode. It's got uh, uh, 1,921,000,000 people in population. That might not sound like much compared to India, but they are in my capital planet and my whole fleet is elsewhere and the military I have is getting obsolete and running out of missiles is a real possibility. Sure, space-based solar power and fusion energy have helped significantly with global warming and <coughs> warming, not warning. <laughs> What am I babbling about? Um, this yeah, English might be uh, sort of a tongue twist sometimes. No, actually, even Finnish does have a, a M's and N's separate of them. But anyway, babbling. Uh, Global warming but the, and stuff, but the planet is seriously overcrowded. Yes, I'm actually going to roleplay the unrealistic population growth. I don't know the reasons for the overcrowdedness. Maybe uh, there's some new religion that 
feast the eye that requires it. Uh, you must fill the planet and what was that uh, <laughs> uh demanded anyway uh, <laughs> now religion isn't actually uh, a factor in the uh, population growth that much uh, it's uh, the gdp that that may, it seems like uh, connected across the spectrum of all the religions it uh, diminishes the uh, population growth and it's been uh, uh, lessening the population growth for uh, quite a while now, actually, steadily. So it's not uh, just some uh, sort of a fluke that it's now <laughs> just some sort of an erratic thing that's happening. Um, <laughs> um, so... Uh, and the large-scale mining operations have had a really bad effect on the environment also. So, uh, but, but what I mean is I can't really explain why this uh, population growth is this uh, severe. It shouldn't be even the uh, least, uh, uh, I mean... The most unoptimistic uh, uh, estimates seem to be below this, uh, what it is right now, uh, if we extrapolate from India's population. Uh, <laughs> Uh, maybe there's uh, so something has happened with the health system of <laughs> our of the of all of the countries on earth well maybe just india it, it isn't necessarily uh, uh, um, attributable to all of the world's population uh, i just uh, want to believe that uh, india isn't just some sort of a miracle nation that uh, does all of these things that nobody else can do of course, I am playing as India, so uh, <laughs> of course I am going to be a, be a little bit India-centric, but uh, things are happening elsewhere in the world, of course. Uh, uh, so, so, uh, so, some. Or may maybe there's something. It's got something to do with some sort of a cloning thing, or uh, some something that about uh, diminishing moral morality, or <laughs> whatever. The, Because uh, at least Christianity uh, seems to think that uh, morality has something to do with... Uh, I think that's called fidelity that they use with that. Uh, anyway... Uh, I am ju just going off on a, on a tangent again. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, this wasn't even part of my script here. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so the environment is pretty bad right now with the mining operations and the overcrowdedness. A large percentage of the world's population is starving and poor. Food has to be imported from the moon of all places. The situation is pretty intolerable and the American Union especially has been raising concerns that this planet isn't big enough for all of us. India and China as the largest populations are especially under pressure and a war is a real possibility. The Indian government has sent a recall order to most of its warships just in case.